So um, we're out with the puppies, they're five weeks now, and this is their first trip out. Hello, Jenkins. And they've handled the trip pretty well. It's about 15 k's from home. And this is their morning walk, this is now the part of their life. Here we go, I always have to get them out. They've all done very, very well. The first time in the car, I think they're pretty smooth. Very nice. As you can see, we have to get the other one out. The side is around the other way. <coughs> yeah. Generally, uh, when you take them out first time, they stay very, very close to you. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see how quickly they actually go off on their own. We've got the mother in here as well. She's coming out in a minute because she'll take the puppies off. But um, it's their first experience. Do they go off straight away or do they stick around you? How like that one hide under the car? What, what's their first reaction when they get out? And that's what we're observing here. Um, yeah, they seem... They actually follow us. Yes, that's nice to see. Um, and it's amazing. After you know five weeks, the development in puppies, how quick. Um, and they are now little dogs. That's why we start taking them out at five weeks. It's now part of their routine. As well as talking about before, routine is very, very important. Um, some would say it's very, very young to be taking dogs out into areas, etc., because of the vaccinations. But we're very careful with the places we go and I do believe it's worth taking that risk because I do believe it aids their development and at this age is where we start because now we're moving we're starting to build on muscle we can start to see the morphology on the dogs we're starting to we already know the temperament of the dog we can see the, the morphology um, and the way the dog's moving and because that's our job, that's what we're into, is that standard. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's not just a cute puppy, it's about trying to produce a lovely puppy to the standard. And that's, we're talking about movement, we're talking about the way the dog's moving, the shoulders, it's a herding dog, it has a particular type of movement. And now that we're taking them out, we can start to observe that movement and see it for what it is. And um, that's why I don't particularly like overly fat puppies, because you can't see it when they're, <laughs> they're fat. Um, and, and, and uh, yeah, so <coughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna go for a walk any minute, we'll just let him do his business. And uh, we'll go for a walk and we'll follow on with the video. And I'll let Kitty out now, because she's dying to get out. Wait, slowly, slowly, slowly. Wait, there we go, there's mum. Go and bug mum. So, she's going to be taking them all over the place, tiring them out, makes a nice easy day the first few days. Um, but then they get used to it and then they expect more. That's, that's the trouble. Once you start something with the dog, you start a routine, training, anything, the dog will demand more and more and more from you. So if you do want to do things with your dog, it's best to start off real slow, um, get to know your dog, etc, etc. Because um, the more you give the dog, the more it's going to want always capable of doing and will be expecting you to do. So routine is very important. Um, and what you want is the dogs just the puppies enjoying it and just going out exploring. And uh, that's why we brought Kit Kat because they'll follow her around and they'll accept the environment a lot quicker than just following me around. But we will be mainly walking just with me.